So I recently started playing with Playwright after discovering it a little while ago and I finally decided to have it set up in my sales.js code page. So in this screencast, I'm going to show you how I did that and uh, hopefully you can learn from it to also set up Playwright in your code base as well. Okay, so before we dive into the screencast and I show you the entire setup process I followed, let's discuss what Playwright is. So Playwright is a web automation tool for end-to-end -to -end testing that was created by Microsoft. So there are a bunch of other end-to-end -end testing tools out there like Cypress, Puppeteer. So basically it lets you test the entire workflow of your applications from a user from a user perspective if they can click on a button they can visit the page they can submit the form they could check out so if you want to test the complete workflow of your application something like playwrights would be really really neat so let's go into the setup process i followed so firstly i have a scaffolded full stack sales application using the create sales cli so it's just brand new there's no setup already so we're going to do this from scratch so the app is already running so if i could show you what the app is currently so this is the app running so it's just the basic setup for sales and inertia which is full stack so you got to click on this button so what i want to test as the demo for this setup is to show you how we could set up like an automation that lets you see if this button was clicked if this go to example link is clicked and if it navigates to the example page and stuff like that so instead of you to do all that manually with something like play that you could write scripts for this okay so with that said let's go to the code base now so we're gonna go to code and we open up the code base which is like a brand new application and i'm going to uh, mention a few things Firstly is I like having an environment for tests in my sales application. So it just makes it um, so I have different environments, I have production and I have tests. So I could just tell sales to run using this environment. So here I like running my tests in port 333. Then these are just settings I like. I, I, I like dropping the database, but that's not necessary for this um, screencast. But it's just something you could know. I like using the sales digs, and I like if I'm using sessions, I like using the memory session. All right, so that's just basically it. So what we want to do now is we need to install Playwright. So what we could do is the there is an init command we could run, which is Playwright at latest. So we could just do Playwright at latest. So we run this npm init command, and it's going to give us like a CLI step to install playwright in our application all right so when i do that i'm going to ask me if i want to use typescript i want to use javascript in this case i should javascript you're going to ask me where i want to put my end to end test so there are two directories you could use you could use e2e so for the salescast.com code base i use the ete folder because i already have unit testing and functional testing set up with another framework called Japa. but if you want to have te um, just to e test in your application you could just go with test so i'm going to go with test for this case but just know that you you have the flexibility of using either the test as the name of the folder or e2e all right so with that click then it's going to ask me if i want to set up a github action workflow so this lets you run play right when you push to maybe your your master or main branch so you could run this in headless mode in ci to just test your code if you want that you could do yes but i i think i'm just going to do that so maybe i might touch on it a bit so let's just have that so once you've answered the entire flow it's going to install playwright the dev dependency as well as the browsers which are chromium web kits web kits and um firefox so um i have done this before so it's going to tell me to override it but if you have not done that before you would not need to see that okay so with that done and yeah so it gives you a couple of commands you could run so right now it comes with the default test so if you run mpx playwright test like this 
is going to run the default the example test came with of course that passes so let's dive dive straight into the code and see what was created in our project so i'm just gonna come here so first thing first is the config file and this is the file i like starting off edits with because here we're going to tell playwright some basic configs to use like how to start up our dev server and uh, what base url to use so we don't have to um, specify the full url every time for testing so yeah we could have that all set up and yeah so so that's what we need to do so now so now we are going to in this file i'm going to look for the use object and you can see this that is commented out which is the base to, to to use in actions so here we're going to say 3333 because in our test environment we say that sales will be lifted at the port what 3333 okay so with that done one more thing that we need to do in this file is to you see this section called web server yeah we can we can tell it what command to use to run our web server our local web server so first of all the port is 333 and here we want sales environment so this is where i'm going to specify the sales environment to be used like so and i could say sales lift like so all right so that's it so playwright is going to know to start up my my server before it will um, run the test speaking about tests we haven't really written any tests yet have we so let's check that out so the test could be found in the test folder like we specify with the cli play also give us an example test example which you could check for ideas of a possible way of you writing your test so this for this test folder have example to spec js which is like a basic test that visits the player the dev website and check if there's a player title and also if there's a guest added button and if you click the button do you go to the docs intro page so just a basic test to give you an idea of what um you of how to write a playwright test okay so what i want to do is i want to rename this file home the spec.js and i'm going to delete everything here because i want to test if when you go to my home page of my application can you see the button and also can you click the button and when you click the button does the count increment by also changing the test of the button so that's what we're going to test so if i do test or describe I'm going to have because then also i also want to test if you could navigate to the example page so i'm going to have a describe block which lets me group tests so i'm going to call this block home page and i'm just going to give it a call back all right so it's just going to be a basic arrow function here and now for my first test i'm going to call it counter button can be click and count incremented okay so that's for my first test so that's the title of the test and i'm going to give an async callback here it's going to take an object that i will destructure to just get the page object out of it point it to an arrow function like so and here so the first thing i want to do is to visit the home page right and to do that in playwright we do go to i'm just going to put home well so without miss specifying the base url in the config file i would have to do localhost and all that jazz but that's hand that came in handy to just simplify the test actions okay so first thing i want to use the locator to get the counter button okay and the locator i'm going to use is the test which the user can see so i'm going to say text clicked zero times so when you open the app you should be able to see clicked zero times right and next i'm going to i'm going to await and expect so this is the test cases now so i'm going to say counter button to be visible so if can the user see this button that's what this test this line mean then if this passes that means everything is good then we could go on trying to click on the button so when we click on the button 
the next thing is to check whether the page now have a button that the is that that has the text click one times all right and that that is visible all right so that's it that's basically it for this test and we have we've made our very first test okay now basic setup not much was needed to be done as you could see now next thing is for us to run so we're going to run mpx player test because we have just a single test in our application we get to see this run and you see all three passed right how about we make this test fail and see what happens so here how about i just say two instead of one okay for the last test case there so if we do the play test so now it's going to fail because of course there is no two in the dom and yeah and once it fails a very cool thing i like about playwright is when it fails it shows you this report it's called a test report showing you like a web page so it's going to start up a local server at this port and just show you a web page of your test reports you could also access this web page by yourself and i'll show you how to do that after we revert this so let's revert this to one and we go back to terminal i see the the, the server i was talking about right there so if we go to mpx playwright test and now it runs without any errors and our test passes so this is the command to open the report the html report which is the default report for playwright okay so one last test we need to write is to test if the if you click on the go to example homepage, you really go to the example homepage, which is this so this this part we need to check right when you click on this button it gets to show you the example page so that's what i want to test okay so we're going to go to visual studio code now i'm going to write another test block it's test and we're going to do example page link is linking to example page i'm going to do an async taking the page object oh yeah then here we're going to first of all navigate so that to the home page again and we're going to save the go to example but link page or locator and this one is going to be the text which is go to example page yes the next we're going to await this is where i expect starts from expect go to example to have attributes so we want, we want to see if it has the attributes of example and if it does we're going to go to example like so go to example dot click and when that is clicked we're going to check the url if it's now updated to contain a slash example wrapped okay so we're going to just put the regex here and this means ending with the example route and that's it and that's it really that simple so i'm going to run this test now and if i go here and i would do let's play right test and it's going to run because i i am running the test in three browsers and i have two tests so that's that's um three times two so it's going to run it in like like it's going to run six passes so it just tell us six passed because i'm running this test in three different browsers that means i'm running them three different times all right so you could choose to run on in a particular browser and the way to do that is if you go back to prior config you'll notice we have what are called projects so this lets you specify the browser to use so you have different 
different browsers in different projects. So let's say I want to run in WebKit, for example, which is Safari. I could do MPS Blue Test and I could do projects like so, and I could do WebKit, and it's just going to run in that browser. Okay, so that's it. So basically, that's how I set up end to end testing with players inside my sales application and you could see how easy it was and i really like the playwright end-to-end -end testing framework and i believe it's a good tool to have in your arsenal when you're trying to test your the workflow of your application at the higher level like at the point where the user interacts with your application so if you ever get to try playwright you could tell me what you feel about it in the comment section so thank you